Hello and welcome to our very last collective worship on this topic of fake is a mistake. We've been looking at the whole idea of how important it is that we are honest and truthful, but also thinking about actually that requires us to be brave. That requires us to have courage. Sometimes it might seem like the easier option to tell a little lie or not to be wholly honest with people. We need to be honest with ourselves. We need to be honest with others and that's the only way that we can really truly let love in and show love to others. Let's pray together as we begin our collective worship. God is love. All the time. All the time. God is love. In today's collective worship, we're going to look at a story from the Bible. And this story is about a man called Jonah. You may well be familiar with this story already. But the story is all about how actually Jonah had to have the courage to do the right thing. And so often, as we've discovered, that we need to be brave and we need to have courage to do the right thing. So let's see what happens in this story. Jonah was a groaner. That's right, a groaner. So when God told him to go to Nineveh and tell the people who lived there to change their evil ways, what did Jonah do? Jonah groaned. Not Nineveh, he groaned. Anywhere but Nineveh. The people who live there are our enemies. And when he had stopped groaning, Jonah bought himself a ticket, a ticket for a boat ride, a boat ride that would take him far away from Nineveh. God listened to Jonah groan. God watched him buy his ticket. But God still wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh. So when the boat reached the deepest part of the sea, God sent a storm. God help us, cried a sailor. We're sinking. God save us, cried another. We're tipping over. God must be very angry, cried the captain, with someone here on board. And what did Jonah do? Jonah groaned. It's me, Jonah groaned. I'm the one God's angry with. He told me to go to Nineveh, and here I am, sailing in the opposite direction. Throw me into the sea and your troubles will be over. God forgive us, the sailors cried as they tossed Jonah and threw him into the water. And almost at once the sea grew calm. Oh dear, Jonah groaned, I'm sinking. Oh no, Jonah groaned, I'm going to drown. Oh my, Jonah groaned, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. And before he could groan another groan, the fish opened his mouth and swallowed Jonah up. It was God who sent the fish to rescue Jonah and to give him some time to think. He had plenty to groan about, of course. The fish's slimy stomach, the seaweed, the smell. But Jonah was still alive, and that was something to cheer about. So Jonah stopped his groaning and prayed a prayer. I was sinking, Lord. I was drowning, but you saved me. So now I will do whatever you want. Three days later, the fish spat Jonah up on a beach. And Jonah kept his promise. He went straight to Nineveh and told the people that God wanted them to change their evil ways. I would like you to pause the video uh, for a moment and have a quick discussion in your class about the story that you've just heard. What do you think about the story? What do you think the story is about? Have a think about 
Jonah's decision to not to go to Nineveh. Do you understand his decision? Do you think you would have done the same thing? And think about the end of the story and how it shows Jonah's courage and our need to be courageous, to do the right thing. Let's listen to the story again, but this time in the form of a poem. And while you listen to it, I want you to think about the times where maybe you have acted like Jonah and been scared to do what is right. But also think about the times when you've said sorry for that and shown the courage to do the right thing. The Lord God spoke to Jonah and issued a command, I want you to go to Nineveh, a very wicked land. But Jonah did not want to go and argued, why must it be me? So he joined a ship and paid his fare and set sail out to sea. But the wind howled and the sea tossed and the sailors all felt sick. And Jonah cried, it's all my fault, throw me overboard, be quick. And the wind calmed and the storm stopped, but poor old Jonah, he popped. Scared and pale, into the jaws of a whale. The boat he left now would not sink, and Jonah, he had time to think about his wicked ways for three whole nights and days. Then Jonah said, I'm sorry, God said, I understand. And he ordered the whale to cough Jonah up and place him alive on dry land. Now Jonah went to Nineveh, told the people to stop being bad. They did and said they were sorry. God forgave them and stopped feeling mad. I wonder what you could learn from this story of Jonah. Let's spend some time being quiet and thinking. Dear Father God, make me strong to stand against what is wrong. Give me strength to stand up for what I know to be right. Amen. Now, as we always do, let's end our collective worship by saying together, we go into the world to walk in God's light, to rejoice in God's love, and to reflect God's glory. Amen. I will see you next week.